Hi cuties! Sorry I've been a bit quiet on this channel lately. Um, I'm remastering the entire Season 1 of my cop show, Ocean 5, on my other channel, Season 1, Immersive Dispatch. Um, I'm remastering it to bring it more in line with Season 2. So I've been a little busy with that lately. Plus it's hard for me to get DRG content at the moment because I can't really play DRG at the moment until I get my new gaming chair. I should be able to get one within next month. So as soon as I've done that, uh, we've got Beyond Legendary 3 to do. I'm, I'm excited to do that. <laughs> well, I'm excited now. I probably won't <laughs> be excited after the fifth fail, but it's going to be fun either way. Uh, hopefully it'll be entertaining to watch, and I'm hoping to learn a lot more um, playing Has5 Solo Scout all the missions. That's going to be fun. Stay tuned for that. I'll start within the next month, as soon as soon as I can actually sit at my computer and play. Um, I'll try and get a uh, Today Scout Learns done within the next couple of days. But again, it, it's hard for me to go down and test because I, I just I can't. <laughs> I can't reach my mouse properly. My chair is too low down. Oh, my, my desk is too <laughs> high up depending how you look at it. <laughs> I need a new chair. <sighs> and money's tight at the moment. Anyway, this video. I've decided to forgive Valerie. I've decided to forgive her. I... I forgive Valerie. I forgive her. Those of you who have followed me for a while, you'll know the story of me and Valerie. Uh, for those of, of you who are perhaps new to my life, um, I'll give you the summarized version if you'd like to know more. <laughs> There's plenty of videos on my channel, just search in her name, Valerie, <laughs> in the video search bar. And you can go back and uh, see the timeline there. So before we chat about that, first, if you'd be so kind to click that subscribe button, and that like button, and that bell button, that'll help me out a lot. The algorithm is not very kind to me at the moment. <laughs> And thank you very much. Uh, a quick shout out to my patrons who, without you, I, 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 I'd, I'd eat even less than I am doing so at the minute. Thank you, Cosmo Anon and the lovely, my beloved, Nico Dahlia. Thank you, especially. Mwah. I love you. Last year, um, I was an undiagnosed schizophrenic at this time and I was heavy, <laughs> extremely unsocialized because I'd, I'd been aus isolated from human contact and the outside world for a long, long time. I mean, I went years not talking to anyone. I, I completely isolated myself and cut myself up from the world. I, I truly lived as a hermit. <laughs> I, I rarely saw outside these four walls, right? I, I was just playing games by myself, mostly, and um, doing an online degree with uh, the Open University. So the extent of my social life was emailing my professor, <laughs> and that's it. And I was an undiagnosed schizophrenic, so you can imagine the mess I was in. I was terrified out of my skin 24-7. I, I had no idea how to talk to people. I, I, I'd forgotten how to converse. And even now, I'm terrible at small talk now, so it's still hard to make friends even, even now I'm stable. But uh, <laughs> clearly a lot better than last year, Jesus. But anyway, I met Valerie, who looked past all that, or, or seemed to. And she took care of me and looked after me. And she showed me what I thought at the time was love. Back then, I, I was still hating on myself. I, I, was, I, was, I was crippled with guilt and, and, and self-hate about my past. I've mentioned this plenty of times before, but I, I was not a very good person in the past. In fact, I was an awful, shitty <laughs> person, right? But Valerie didn't see me as that. She's the first person I talked to in years. Me feel good. 
It made me feel safe. <laughs> I kept her DM windows open even when she was on offline because just seeing her window there made me feel safe and, and any time I was having a panic attack or scared or, or feeling lonely or bad or sad I, I just have her window open there in the corner while doing whatever else I was doing and it had a calming and soothing effect on me just seeing her there even though she wasn't there to the extent she meant to me, she she was my role model, and she took me under her wing, and I was I was learning from her how to, how to <laughs> how to human, and basically thinking back, maybe I put a little too much pressure on her, maybe I put her on a pedestal a little, maybe. But anyway, my my mistake was falling in love with her, and I told her I felt I, I told her I loved her, and her response was to say really not very nice things to me. Really not very nice. They they stung a lot. They they, they hurt. <laughs> uh, I was a borderline borderline creepy weirdo, I think her exact words were. Hmm. Never contact me again. Block. Poof. On. I woke up to that. I went to bed happy. Thing is, I, I don't understand because she told me she loved me. She told me she loved me. And then. I don't understand. I, I still don't understand what exactly I did wrong. I mean, maybe I. I was undiagnosed back then, so maybe I was just being a w creepy weirdo and didn't realize it <laughs> I, I've went I went back on our chat logs and I mean I was <laughs> I was needy and clingy but I don't know I don't think I did anything so awful to warrant what she did to me I mean she'd spent a couple of months building me up I mean it's because of her I, I, I got some confidence back and some self-esteem back. Uh, I forgave myself for my past because of her and that helped me move on. That, that helped me like sort of um, become me, who I am now. I, I sort of embraced my new me rather than obsessing on my old me. So she was helping me build build a foundation of who I am now and focusing who I want to be in the future and she took a bulldozer and <laughs> demolished it in just a few sentences my self-esteem my confidence my self-worth poof gone I mean wow she was vicious she just took it all away Ouch. Yeah. I tried to commit suicide after after that. I just... Uh, I just didn't see how I could go on. I mean, I was hurting bad. I overdosed and... I woke up several days... <laughs> I woke up several days later in a pool of my own pee and vomit. Lovely, I know, right? Yeah. Taught me a lesson. <laughs> uh, I haven't tried overdosing since. Gross. Anyway, for months after that, I, I went back to how I was before I met Valerie. I went back to a complete and total mess. Um, arguably even worse because she was the first person I trusted in years. And, and look what happened. So now I was even less trusting of people than before. If anybody was nice to me, I'd automatically assume they were out to get me. That they wanted to hurt me, like like like, like she did. That was that was my assumption. I didn't feel safe anymore. Nobody's made me feel safe anymore. And for months I'd been hurting and crying and self harming. 
I didn't see a way out of that black hole. I, I had no hope for the future again. I, I went back to hating myself. I started becoming bitter and resentful, kind of hateful myself. This past few months I've been saying some not very nice things, just I'd feel like ranting because I was in a bad mood. Oh, excuse me. Who's texting me this time of the morning? Hi, it's Pingo. Need help with your loan? Money and bank today. Possible. No fees. Bad credit. Okay. Mm. Go away. That's why I've decided that it's time to forgive Valerie. Because I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be filled with bitterness and resentful and hateful and, and I don't want what she did to me to define me and my current friendships or, or rob me of future friendships and I don't want what she did to me to turn me into a monster or rather back into a monster because I've been feeling it I've, I've been feeling it this past few months I've, I've been posting something or making a video of something and, and after I've just got this, uh, uh, this this nagging dull pain inside me making me aware that I'm going down a bad path for all the wrong reasons I, I, I say things that I don't really believe because subconsciously I know it's the opposite of what she would believe. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've been thinking about it a lot lately. And I think it's less to do with how much I hate her and more to do with um, how little confidence I had in myself. My own insecurities and my lack of faith in myself. See, maybe that was my, my mistake. I was letting her build me up when I should have been building myself up. And since her betrayal, <laughs> she's not even been in my life and yet she's still been the biggest influence in my life. <laughs> because she, she, she tore me down and then bulldozed over me and then dropped an atomic bomb on me so since then I don't know I don't know but what I, can, what I do know is I'm never going to find myself or be myself if I keep letting other people just define me and influence me so I want to move away from that so here it is I I forgive her I forgive her and this will be the last time I ever mention her or what happened between us ever the last time after after Valerie I thought I'd never feel safe again I thought I'd never feel happiness again and I thought I'd never feel love again but I have all of it now I have all of it from <laughs> from the least expected place he's been my bestest friend all year all year he's been best he's been my bestest friend um, I met him just before the Valerie fallout and as mentioned, I found it really, really hard to find friends. They, they, they block and delete me after a few days of knowing me. <laughs> I added a guy from 4chan. And we played like Gunfire Reborn, some Australian guy. We played uh, Gunfire Reborn a couple of times and oof, <laughs> I woke up and he deleted me. I was like, why? <laughs> what did I do? Am I really that annoying? But Nico, he's always been there. 
I think, thinking back, I think we've actually talked every single day. <laughs> we've been best as friends every single day. You know, he's always treated me as a girl. Always. And he's always tried cheering me up and we've always enjoyed each other's company and I've gone schizo on him a couple of times. I went schizo on him a couple of times before I was on antipsychotics and stuff and and yet he was still there the next day forgiving and that's what I mean I, I've got a wonderful person in my life after all I've got that good person in my life that, that sweet person who's forgiving and understanding and caring and loving who really is a role model and somebody to look up to in a good way and even as friends because we were played we, we've been platonic plutonic oh my god let's not go through that again what did I decide last time I can't <laughs> I can't remember was it plutonic yeah we, we were plutonic friends up until recently really so even as plutonic friends he was building my confidence up and always giving me strength so I think it's time to move on and stop caring about the past and start enjoying what I have now and start looking forward to the future I don't know I realized this past couple of days what a lucky girl type thing that I am I'm, I'm a very lucky a very lucky Trana I love my Nico so much and I like I like the person that I, ta that I am around him too and I want to focus on being that person more rather than being any kind of person influenced by trauma of my past and I actually don't feel that anymore I do the same with Nico by the way <laughs> I leave Nico's DMs open so whenever I'm feeling down or scared or afraid I've got Nico there I didn't think I'd ever have that again and thinking back I think with Valerie it's just because she was the first person I trusted and the first person I talked to in years I was isolated and lonely but I haven't been that isolated and lonely this year I've, I've got friends I've got my Twitter mutuals I've, I've got you and I've got my DRG friends I've got the DRG server and so I'm not so much needy and clingy anymore basically Nico is deserving of my feelings and the way he makes me feel he, he, he deserves that and he doesn't deserve to compete with the past and he doesn't deserve for his girlfriend to be influenced negatively by her past traumas either so for these reasons I forgive Valerie it's time to move on <laughs> speaking of moving on um, I've replaced my channel banner <laughs> you probably noticed I, I hadn't touched it since last year I just plastered up the MS paint job <laughs> last year and they just left it all year I've I've put another one up for now but that's temporary I'm, I am making a better one um, I, I'm, I'm still I'm not very good at that stuff but I am learning and also I'm slowly replacing all the thumbnails of my channel uh, you've probably noticed I've re reorganized the front page um, let me know if you prefer the DRG content at the top and my Trana and social issue stuff down at the bottom or reverse I've, I've got it at the top at the minute and the DRG below them and that's just because my DRG stuff is bigger <laughs> so I've, I've got more playlists for my DRG stuff so for people wanting my Trana content they have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and I, I like to have them grouped neatly <laughs> I've privated 
most of the, what I believe was CAC content. I mean, a lot of it was like when I was just starting and a lot of it was just me ranting. So I, I've privated all that for now and I've tried to get, keep up uh, <laughs> the half decent content. Hopefully in the future I'll, I'll actually start making good content. <laughs> uh, anyway. Thank you to my patrons again. Your patronage means food in my belly. So I definitely appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Zippity.